Hi guys, Kelvin here. Today I'll be reviewing the BenQ EW2750ZL right here with the wheat lamp right here as well. It is a 1080p 16 by 9 ratio VA LED monitor featuring a slim bezel design. 0.9 at its thinnest point and 2cm at its thickest point, looking at the front view itself. It's also an eye care product by BenQ featuring BenQ's proprietary flicker-free technology so that means you don't face any flickering at any brightness level, effectively does not cause eye fatigue. So this is actually catered for people who is going to be in front of a monitor for long hours, for example like editors, office workers, videographers and photographers. So let's see how it performs. It is made of VA panel which have good viewing angles and great brightness level. Just the black level may not be deep and the response time may be slower. A serious issue for competitive gaming. But again, this monitor is not designed for that purpose but rather for people who's going to be glued in front of the monitor for long hours. It's great for home use like photo, movies and entertainment. The white balance is great, color reproduction is awesome and the gamma is great for a VA panel. Surprising. In terms of I.O., it has one VGA port, two HDMI, 1.4 port, with one of them supports MHL. If you want to display content from your smartphones or tablet aside from the PC, there's the audio in and audio out and the DC jack. Sadly, there's no cable management here and the cable just protrude outwards. For the port, I wish they had included either a DVI port or a display port for wider compatibility. So you don't need to get adapters just to connect to your devices. For the physical appearance, the screen has a semi-gloss finish that doubles as a semi-anti-glare screen. The viewing angle from any point of view is 178 degrees. The stand that holds up the monitor is made out from aluminium. It's sturdy, unless you touch it, it wobbles a bit. You have 6 buttons at the back, which I prefer to be much more towards the side of the frame for easy reach and to be viewed. As turning off the monitor can be tricky sometimes, your only indicator is the LED light which is the same level as your power button. There is two 2 watt speakers that is just okay for simple listening, not for games or song. Sadly, the monitor does not have any height adjustment, only tilt which is 5 degrees forward and 20 degrees backward. Looking at the back, there is one button dedicated to power. The other 5 buttons are for setting adjustment. Pressing the buttons will show you the option for blue light filter, picture mode, volume adjustment and menu. And under the menu selection, you have extra settings like display settings, picture settings, and picture advance. Picture advance is where you want to enable super resolution which instantly sharpens the display digitally great for games but a little bit artificial for my liking. It will work better for larger screen size. You can also adjust the dynamic contrast under this option. When it comes to the eye care part, it has 4 blue light filter presets that help you cut the UV light which is a critical cause for eye damage, eye strain, headaches, sleeping disorder after prolonged usage. The BenQ monitor does not have any flickering as they are not using pulse width modulation LED. Instead, direct current is used. So regardless of any brightness level, you won't face flickering like those you find in common cheap monitors. To comfort your eyes further, especially in dim or totally dark situation, you can use the BenQ with lamp. It has a 90cm coverage around it. The LED light complements your monitor with the auto temperature, color and also brightness level adjustment. So you won't strain your eyes in those dim situations. You can also manually adjust the color temperature and the brightness level if you fit to do so. But I have been using the auto mode and I'm very happy with it regardless if it's daytime or nighttime. I don't feel exhausted from staring the monitor and the area in front of the monitor since it lights up that area as well. You will feel more focused in what you do rather than thinking when to take the next rest. Even as a simple LED light, this built out of aluminum alloy and zinc alloy to give it a unique premium art look on your desk. So that has been my review for the BenQ monitor and a little bit of my experience. I've been using this monitor and this setup with the Lewitt lamp for nearly a month and I'm, I'm appreciating every moment with it. The sad news is I have to return it back and I would actually consider getting the monitor like this even though it's not gaming, it's fine because I spend most of my time in front of the monitor doing all this website and blog stuff you can check out countpixels.com and I've been doing a lot of video editing, photography editing with now with my new photography project I spend my time in front of the monitor more like literally 6 hours straight and I don't want to strain my eyes, in fact I don't feel any tiredness and you can see I don't have dark circles, I don't feel stress. And the sad news is I have to return this review unit and I have to switch back to my old 2 year old Dell monitor. And the sad part is I know from the Dell monitor experience I would take every 30 minutes a break just to see something green like my, my garden outside or just reset my eyes. And from my experience, I would actually prefer not to get a gaming monitor 
but to get an eye care product from BenQ like this as it fits my need. Thanks for watching this review. Check out our blog for more detailed review of it and other information about it. See you.